I decided to do this little video showing you how I go about installing a new program. In this case, my Premier Plus embroidery system is already installed, but I'll take you through the steps that I think help. First thing I did was right click and choose new folder and I entitled it Premier Plus to install. Next, I double clicked and chose new and this time I could choose a text document. I named my document P plus code and double click to open that. I typed in my code. You received a sheet of paper that had your code. I believe they all begin with P. I'm just going to put XXX. I typed it in and then I did file save. So now I can close out of this and if I double click just to check it, you can see that my P plus code text is in there. When I'm called upon to input that code, all I have to do is click on my desktop, go into this folder, highlight it, hold down my control key and press C for copy. And then I'll be able to right click in the code place and paste. Or if you prefer, just have that document open so you can copy the numbers little by little. The next thing I did was click on my Windows icon here in the lower left and I chose settings. In the Windows settings screen, I clicked on apps because you can see here uninstall, defaults, optional features. Click on that once. You'll find a list of all your programs, which they're now calling apps and features, in alphabetical order. So you just scroll down until you find your Premier Plus embroidery parts of the software. And I think it's the last or the second to the last in the line. And it is called the Premier Plus Embroidery System Explorer Plugin. You don't see mine here because I've already deleted it. But you would click to highlight that and then click on uninstall. The computer will uninstall the program and my advice is to restart so it's completely off of your PC and you have a fresh start. Once that's done, you're ready to go get your software. In order to download your new software for Premier Plus Embroidery 2, you have to wait until you get an email. And the email I received was from Embroidery Newsletter. And the subject was Premier Plus Embroidery 2. In that, there was a link which I clicked on and it had me download a file. That file I had saved into my Premier Plus folder that I had created and it was called Premier Plus 2 Embroidery System. This does not mean this is your whole program. It only takes a short amount of time to download. Once you have downloaded this and it's in your folder so you'll know where to retrieve it, you just double click on it. Then that takes you to another part where you have to put in your registration information and you will be able to download the entire Premier Plus 2 program with the exception of the samples and the Explorer plugin. First, you're going to download and you'll see a screen saying staging application exe and it will take a while to download that. Then when you think it's never going to get to the next point, it goes on to staging components and that took quite a while. Another file comes up, staging backgrounds and then staging documentation. Once those are all downloaded, they install all by themselves. Each and every one of those parts installs itself. When it finished installing for me, I had the 
black screen pop up a couple of times saying activate SE EXE and finally everything came to an end and it said finish and activate which I did. The next screen was where you put in your code that you originally got when you ordered the software. Remember the one we copied. You can go back into that folder, highlight, control C to copy it, and then come back into this download screen and paste it in where they want the documentation code. Once that was done, it told me everything was fine, but then it said there were updates available and those updates were samples and the Explorer plugin. Each one of those I, I'm guessing took maybe 15 minutes, but I'm on a wireless connection here in the studio. Our router is downstairs at the other end of the house. So that may be why it took me so long, or perhaps it was just busy with all of us eager beavers wanting to download the software. My best advice to you is be patient. Don't bother trying to download unless you have a good block of time because you know once you finish downloading, you're going to want to poke around into the software. And that's what I intend to show you next. In the next video, I'll show you the README file and the importance of going into the Premiere Plus 2 configure before you start using your embroidery software. Thank you for taking the time to watch my little introduction.